Hey everyone, and welcome to a series I started called The Devlog. I kind of just stole this idea from Danny and other YouTubers. If you want to see some actually entertaining devlogs, I'll leave some in the description. Now, on to the video. I was thinking of ideas for the game I could make for the devlog, but I really just couldn't think of anything. So I just stole my older game's premise and am now using it here. Uh, as you can tell, I, I don't have any good ideas. My older game was a sort of baking simulator where you could bake different kinds of pastries by using your stock ingredients. When you run out of ingredients, though, you go to a shop and get more. It was a really simple concept, and I know it's been done a lot, but whatever, I thought it was cool. And since I'm basically a beginner in scripting on Roblox, I thought it'd be a fun challenge to make a farming simulator with around the same premise. Before I started recording, I already made some block models. I made a water block, a hoed block, a dirt block, and a grass block. My main objective for today was to create the main farming system, so I got to work and started off creating the three stages that the hay will go through to grow. I started with the full grown hay, the almost grown, and then the seeds. And then after that, I started making the scythe tool, which would be used to clear the hay. Alright, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the avatar and... Okay, I didn't realize how big I built it, so then I just scaled it down a few blocks and now it looks a lot better. And now I'm just going to attach the tool to the dummy and... Okay, it's fixed and now the site does look a bit big, but it's alright. I mean, it's, it, it's a decent size. Alright, I'm just going to put the scythe in my starter pack to test it. I think I forgot to detach it from the dummy. Now I'm just going to get started on animating an idle pose while holding the scythe. And now I'm just going to do some boring scripting, but if you're a nerd and actually want to learn this, uh, I'll explain it right now. So basically, I'm making it so when the tool is equipped, the animation will loop, and when it becomes unequipped, the animation will stop. Soon, I'll make the sweep animation, and then I can pair that to when the tool is clicked while equipped it, which will play the sweep animation. Alright, now it's actually time to make the sweep animation. Now that I've made the animation, I can put it in the script now and make it play when I've clicked. So let's just get into the- Wow! Boom! Yeah, I got the animations to work. And so now I should just get started on the clearing process. So I'm just gonna make a test part and try to make it so when the scythe touches it, it becomes invisible. Alright, so I finally got it to work. Don't ask me how long it took me because I will not remember. So what I did was add a sensor to the blade, so when the sensor hits the part, the script inside the part will detect it's been hit by the sensor and then change its transparency. And now I'm just gonna use the same script on the hay and when it's in the last stage. Right now I'm just making a placeholder script for the whole dirt. Later along the line I'm gonna make it so you have to plant seeds, but just for now I'm gonna make it so all you have to do is click. And after two painful hours I finally got the hay sweeping system to work. For the next part all I wanna do is make it so when you've swept hay you'll get a hay tool in your inventory. Later I'm gonna make an area where you can sell your hay at, but for now you're just getting nothing, you're just getting a hay tool. And now I finally got the hay tool to work. Once sweeping any finished hay, you'll now get it in your inventory. And just for the last part, I want to make a shovel item that you can use to hoe out grass blocks and turn them into hoed blocks. I'm just going to skip out all the pain I went through to make this work. So around an hour later, I finally got it to work. And the solution was so clear, I just, I can't believe I didn't go with this the first time. But eventually I figured it out that all I needed to do was put a spare hoed block inside the grass block and then make the scripts disabled and the block invis. 
Then I made it so once the shovel sensor touches the glass block, it will destroy the glass block and make the hold block take its place. And with all that said and done, I can now proudly say I finished 2% of the game.